Hallelujah. God bless you so much for joining me once again. I am so excited and I am so delighted to have you this week. Amen. I would like to apologize for yesterday. I had a few appointments and the time was just not working out. So I'm now trying to fix all my appointments and schedule it around Tari so that it does not conflict with the time. Amen. Thank you all those that reached out. Um, asking, hey, what's going on? How, how come you're not praying and all that? That encourages me that the Lord is actually using this to bless people. And I am grateful for all of you, your diligence and your, your hunger for God. Your hunger for God. It, and it energizes me to also study and spend more time in the presence of God so that I can also bring you something from the presence of the Lord. Amen. So we thank God for your life and we bless, we bless Jesus. I want you to share this stream with your friends and your family. Um, and, and I believe that their life will not be the same. Those of you that were able to come in on Friday, oh my God. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I, I myself, I was like, man, I want more. I want more. I want more. And I believe that those of you that watch online, you were blessed. But next time, I want you to also try and make it in person. It is going to be marvelous. Marvelous. Amen. As you share the stream, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Zebranda bazo palere bedeze kapaya. Zemende bredeze kapado zemene bebreze kapada bra. Zemrende bedeze kapanda rababa. Zebranda da bazanka pala babrada bazanka leleba Zababranda bazanka antala lala bababa Zabrada babrada babazanka panka pa Zemende brede zeka pado zemrande bedezea Imanta brada zaka pando zebedeha Zebrende bedede bazon kum 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 brande bedeze Zerebe de brende kapanda rabababa Imanta la la ba 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 jabranda ba zaka ba zemrende ba de brezenka panta brada ba ha zemrene me ne me ne ne mazonto brada ba ba zebrende brede ba zanka panta la la ba ha imranda ba zaka panta brede ba ha zerebe de brezenko tonto brada ba zemrende 
It is by his mercies that we are still alive. It is because of his love and kindness that we are not consumed. Lift up your voice and bless him. Begin to give him praise. Begin to lift him up for he is God. He reigns forever. His name is great. He is Elohim. You are Elohim. You are my God. 
God. You are my savior. You are my deliverer. Come on, lift up the voice and bless him. You are my God. Raman tole bende beha. Zemre ne me ne me ne me kapa ya. Raba 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 zan tala la baba. Yebre ne me ne me zan kan ton toba. Yebre ne me ne me raba zan tala la baha. Ibra da ba do shabra ne me ne ha. Imen ne me ne me ha. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are God. Lebre ne me ne ne me zan toba na na na. Ibra da ba da zan kapan tala la baba ya da na bra zan tala la ba ya. Ye brada bada 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 mazon koya ye brada bada 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 mazon to bada maya ye brada bada 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 kapaya ye brada bada 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 ya come on somebody lift up your voice and bless the name of the lord come on somebody lift up the voice exalt him for he is the king of kings he is the lord of lords he is the great i am bada 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 mazon kanta na na ba ye brada bada bada mazon ta na na ba ya ye brada bada 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 na ba ya ye brada bada bada you reign forever, O oh God. You are ever great. You are ever wonderful. You are the King of Kings. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Almighty God. Holy is your name. Ye brada bazanta ya, le brada bada bada ha, ye brada bada bada ha, ye kabrada bada zanta ya, ye brando do zama ha, ye kabla re bada bada baza, ye brana mana mana kapaya, re bada bada zanta la la ba, ye brana bada la ba ha, ye brana mana 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 kapaya, re bada bada zanta onto ba, ye kabrada bada ba ha, ye brana mana 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 zanta ya, we bless you Jesus, we bless you Jesus, we bless you Jesus, we. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ramana mana nama zam kan tala laba. Reba 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 zam tala laba. Ye ke reba 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 zam tala laba reba 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 zam tala laba ya. Ibrana mana nama zam kan to ya. Ye brana mana mana nama zam tala ya. Ye brana mana mana kapal reba 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 ha. Ze brana reba 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 ka. Ye brana tala laba. Ye brana nama zam ta ya. We give you praise. Ye mana mana nama zam tala laba ya. Reba 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 zam kan to to brana nama ba ya. Ye ke brana reba 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 zam tala laba ha. Ye mana 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 ya. Ye brana reba 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 ha. Ye brana mana nama mana nama zam to brana nama ba ya. Nana nana ya. Ye ka ba 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 ya. Ye ba 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 ya. You are God, 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 there is none like you, you are God, 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 You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. There is no man compared unto you. For you alone, you are God. You dwell in a such a light. Alpha and Omega. Elsa, Dai, Elohim, Elion. We lift your name on high. For you alone, you are worthy. In the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Anyone that is under the sound of my voice, that you are feeling weak, you are feeling tired, you are feeling, you are feeling draggy, I want you to open your mouth and begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Those of us also, the blood cleanses, the blood washes, the blood strengthens, the blood, by the blood we overcame the enemy. Lift up your voice, plead the blood of Jesus, plead the blood of Jesus, plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my head, my, my body, my soul, my spirit, from the crown of my head to the soul of my feet. I immerse myself. I pray the Lord, wash me and cleanse me every sins that are committed in ignorance and deliberate. I pray the Lord this afternoon, have mercy upon me, cleanse me and wash me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that by the blood we can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy. Lift up your voice and begin to pray for fresh grace. Pray that God give me this day, my daily bread. I need fresh grace. I need mercy, oh God. I need fresh anointing. I need you to renew my strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, I pray that anoint my head with oil, fresh oil, O God. Exalt my own like that of the unicorn. Anoint me with the fresh oil. Anoint me with the fresh oil. Anoint me with fresh fire. Baptize me with fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. We are praying. This prayer must be the core of our core of our prayer for the week. It's the core of the prayer, our prayer for the week. We are praying that God will let every other name fade away. We are praying. 
that God will let every other name fade away and that Jesus should take his place in our lives because he's all we want. So anything in your life that is contending to take the place of God, the place of Lord, the place of Savior in your life, you are praying that by the sovereign power of Elohim, Every other name should fade away. Every other thing should fade away. But Jesus should take his place in your life. I hope it makes sense. Lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Every other name fade away, your God. Let every other name fade away. Let Jesus take his place in my life. Jesus, I pray, take your place in my life. Take your place in my business. Take your place in my ministry. Take your place of God in my children's life. Take your place of God in my marriage. Take your place in my studio. Take your place in my labranda. Come on, pray right now. That all I want is Jesus. All I want is you, oh God. Give me you a God. Come on, pray. The Lord. You are the one I long for. You are the one I need. Take your place in my life. Father, this is the cry of our heart. Give us you, Lord. We long for your presence. We long for your person, O God. Ya branda 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 ya bran
Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. It is only you, O God. Only you, Namata. Only you, Namata. Only you, Namata. Only you, Namata. We have run the house. 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 We have Yeah, 
Jesus in the name of Jesus we are still praying but there is something I want to draw your mind to Romans chapter 8 verse 19 Ah, libra da zaka pa lebre de ha, zebre de bre de 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 ba zaka pa de bre de de ha, zebre de bre de bre zo konto to brande de ba zo ya, zeke brande bre de ba zanta la la ba ha, lebre de ba bre zanka nta la la ba, zebre de bre de ba zanta la la ba pa pa. Zebranda brada bazan konto konto brada da ha zebranda mena me koto zebra le koto to brando zebra ke branke de branke de ya in the name of Jesus Romans chapter eight verse nineteen I, I'm going to read something here this is what the Bible says this is what the Bible says the Bible says that for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Now, the sons of God here also refers to the daughters of God. All right? Also refers to the daughters of God. Now, the Bible says that for whom he did for know, in the same Romans chapter, chapter 8, when you read down, for whom he did for know, he had also predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be the firstborn among many brethren. So, Jesus is the firstborn. And God He's saying that for whom he did for no, he has also predestinated us. So that means that there, 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 there is a predetermined path, a predetermined kind of lifestyle that has been ordained for those of them that God know. Those of them that are called according to his purpose. And when they begin to walk on that path and they begin to do the things that God himself has aligned for them, they will be conformed to the image of his son. That means they will become like Jesus Christ. They will begin to talk like Jesus. They will begin to walk like Jesus. They will be able to demonstrate power and move like Jesus. Am I making sense now? That Jesus is the big brother. Jesus is the firstborn. Now, listen to this. Now, the Bible says that the endless expectation of creator, the endless expectation of creator, now, when we say creator, it didn't say that the trees, it didn't say that the, 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 the sea, but it says creator. That means anything that is created, even including angelic beings, they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons, including the daughters of God. The manifestation. That means that we have to come to a level where we manifest as the children of God. So now, if we are going to manifest, we are going to appear on this world, walk in this world as sons and daughters of God, then there is something that must be evident in our life. So if we want to see what it means to manifest as a son of God, manifest as a daughter of God, then we have to consider the life of Jesus and what Jesus did while he was on earth. The Bible says that when Jesus was on earth, and when Jesus walked upon the face of the earth, he was a heavily anointed. And because he was heavily anointed, he cast out demons. He healed the sick. I quite remember in the Bible when, P when Peter cut off the ear of a man. The Bible says Jesus took the ear of this man and attached the ear back to the man's head. And completely it was aligned, it was attached, it was healed. I'm not making sense to you. Oh, praise God. The Bible says that when Jesus was on earth, he walked upon the water. The Bible says that when Jesus was upon the earth, a man that was with an infirmity for 38 years, he received instant healing by the words that Jesus spoke. The Bible says that when Jesus was on the face of the earth, when he walked upon the earth, a man that was dead for four days was what? Was raised back to life from the dead. So Jesus manifested as the son of God. Even though he came to fulfill the mandate of being the savior of the universe, but he manifested as the son of God. 
Therefore, for us to manifest as the sons of God, that means we must be able to do that which Jesus did on earth and even more. So he says that when you believe, you will do more than I am doing. So the creator, the world, people in the world, those in utter darkness, they are waiting for you and I to manifest as sons and daughters of God. I'm not making sense to you. So, so he didn't say that the creator is waiting for the manifestation of pastors. Waiting for the manifestation of apostles. Waiting for the manifestation of prophets. But sons of God. Daughters of God. Are you a son of God? Are you a daughter of God? Are you born of God? Are you called of God? Then you must come to the place of manifesting. You must come to the place of walking in the fullness of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You must come to the place of walking in the fullness of the glory of God. That means that when you encounter someone, there must be a trademark of change. The Bible says whoever Jesus encountered, when their hearts were open, they received a transformation. So everybody that was around Jesus experienced something. With a certain of those that had hardened their hearts, especially Judas. What am I trying to say? I am trying to say this, that it is not enough for you to just go to church. And for you to just sit on the pews and warm the pews. No. It is not enough. Just to say you are a Christian. No. You must manifest. You must walk in power. The anointing of the Holy Ghost must be able to flow through you. And touch people in the world. So that we can draw them into the kingdom. Yes, you. You. Listen to me. I am putting forth a challenge. I am putting forth a talent that you begin to endeavor and you begin to pursue God until he becomes real in your life that people can touch him through your life. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes. The Bible says Philip was just a deacon. He was anointed as a deacon. But before he was anointed and ordained as a deacon, the Bible clearly says that he was full of the Holy Ghost. He was full of the Holy Ghost. I'm reading a book. And the book, in the book, is it, it, stating that this generation that we are in, a lot of people are frustrated with churches, not because church in itself is a bad thing, but because the, the things that we are preaching, they are not seeing the manifestation. And you know, it's sometimes so interesting that we will be able to now tell the people that it's because you don't have faith. It's because you're not diligent enough. It's because you didn't sow enough big seed. It's because you didn't do this, you didn't do that. But no, 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 no. When Jesus was walking upon the face of the earth, when the apostles were walking on the, uh, on the face of the earth, it was a different ball game. It had nothing to do with come and show before you experience the power of God. That when they encountered the people, God just flowed through them. Let me give you an example. The man that was sitting at the gate called Beautiful did not show a seed before he experienced the power of God. He was actually asking them for money. And they said that we don't have, but we have something that is superior. We have something that is above the money you are asking for. That thing we have is Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, rise up. And the man received his healing. When Jesus walked into the synagogue, the woman that was, that was, that was, uh, that was bent over like this. Jesus did not ask him to bring anointing oil before he re she received her deliverance. Jesus called her to himself and said, you are loose, woman of God. You are loose. And instantly it happened. So people are frustrated because they come and they don't experience the presence and the power of God as they should. Listen. You and I, 
must come to the place where we manifest as sons of God. We walk in authority, not as babes, but as sons of God. Knowing who we are and walking in our rightful authority, suppressing and subduing the works of darkness, Mending the broken heartedness, healing the sick and raising the dead. I said, you, yes, you. Are you not the daughter of God? Are you not the son of God? Listen, listen, we must come to that place. We must come to that place. We must come to that place that when we stand and we begin to minister, the power of God invades the place that there is an explosion of glory. I want to challenge someone not to just be a church goer, but pursue Christ. Seek until you find him. You tarry until you are endued with power. Yes. Listen, let me tell you something. The apostles of old, Peter, John, Mark, Paul, Agabus, these people, when they spoke, signs followed. Signs and wonders followed. When Agabus prophesied that whoever belt I am holding says that you will be bound when you go to Jerusalem, what happened? When he went to Jerusalem, he was bound because it was authentic. We need the authentic, authentic supernatural power of God in our churches again. And if that is going to happen, then I am calling on every one of you listening to me to consecrate yourself unto God. The first thing to do is to consecrate yourself. Separate yourself. Come, come, come out from among them. Come out. Don't be like the people of the world. Don't be like the people of the world. Don't live a compromised life. Don't compare yourself one to another. Come out from here among them. Come out. Come out. Live a holy life. Separate yourself unto God and God alone. The other day, the Spirit of God was telling me, He said, there are more dimensions that I want to unleash on earth. There are more dimensions of my glory. There, there is more light I want to shine forth into the world. But I need someone that is willing to die to themselves for me. Someone that is willing to sacrifice everything that nothing else in this world matter but just the presence of God. The enemy has successfully made us understand that God cannot provide physical things for us. Oh yeah. So, so whilst God is calling us to another level of consecration, we are thinking about our bill. Whilst God is calling us to another level of intimacy, we are thinking about the food we are going to feed our children. But I'm here to let you understand that God is the same God. That rain manna from heaven. People say that nowadays God does not rain manna anymore. Who told you that lie? Whoever says that, whoever says that, eh, whoever says that, you need to carefully check them again. Because that, that clearly, that clearly eh, tells you the level to which they have compromised in Christ. Oh, we live in days now that God don't part the rest into two again. What do you mean? The Bible says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. So if he has not changed, then just as he was able to part the Jordan into two, he is able to part whatever it is that confronts you now. Because if you are saying that God has not rain manna from heaven again, and God will not cause ravens to feed the prophet Elijah again, then you are telling me that we are living in times where, the, when Jesus, 
was able to feed 5,000 men with five loaves of bread and two little fishes is over. So therefore, there is something that you have to get out there to do and remove God from the picture. No! Anyone that will preach and tell you to break your commitment with God to go find bread, I am telling you, be very careful about that person. Listen, we need more of God. We need more of God. People of God, we need more of Jesus. We need more light in our churches. Wherever you are listening to me, wherever you are listening to me from, you need to be that conduit of light in your church. You need to be that one that says, I will stand in the gap for God to show forth his glory in this place. I'm telling you. You, are, you did not chance upon this life by mistake. And the things that I'm saying, it might, it might seem as if this guy is just talking, talking. No, I am speaking to a specific kind of people. And I pray that from today, your hunger for God will increase a hundred percent. That you will be restless until you enter into the place of prayer. That when sin is coming to you, you will run away. Why? Because you don't want anything to take away the presence of God in your life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust you more. Oh, for grace to see you more. I want you to lift up your voice and pray and say, God, let every other thing fail. Let every other thing fade away. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you, Lord. Everything else can wait. Don't wait till it's too late before you seek after Jesus. Now that you are alive and kicking and you are strong, this is the time to seek him. This is the time to pursue him. I'm telling you. Peter said something. He said that we are not going to leave the presence of God and come and serve tables. We will give ourselves continually to prayer. So he says that we are not going to break our consecration. We are not going to break our intimacy to attend to things that are not no, 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 no. We are not going to do that. Find somebody else to do that. Am I making sense? And we are going to lock ourselves up in prayer. And we are going to continue the ministry of God's word. And that is how come these people were able to walk in so much tangible power. That even a shadow of a man was able to heal. I can't wait to the day. That we will lift up the name of the Lord. And he himself will just descend and begin to walk amongst the people. I can't wait to the day. That somebody will just walk in the sanctuary with their dead baby. And just by walking into that atmosphere, the baby just coughs up and just wake up. I can't wait to that day. That the eyes of the blind will pop open in our churches again. Yes, our local churches. Yes, wherever city you might find yourself in, whether you are in California, whether you are in Columbus, whether you are in Atlantic City, whether you are in Las Vegas, wherever you find yourself in, I can't wait to that day. That the amputated hand will grow back again. If Jesus was able to attach the ear of a man whose ear was cut off completely, then the doctors can cut off your legs. But in the glory of God, that leg can grow again. Ha! <laughs> yes, I, I may be speaking like a madman, but you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. I said there are dimensions in God. There are realms in God. Yes, they may have taken your womb out, but you enter into that atmosphere instantly. Your womb is restored. 
Oh, you don't get it. 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 La raba da ze mene mene kapa do ze he. Ze ke brede be do ze men divri apa do za. Ze ke branda badaya. I need someone to understand that the God we are serving is supreme. He is still the creator. He is still the creator. And with God, all things are possible. The next dimension, next level of glory. That is what I desire. And that is what I pray for you. May the hunger for the Lord fall upon you. May the hunger for the Lord fall upon you. And from this cast, may you not cease to pray. May you pray and not get tired of praying. May you hunger for God's word and not get tired of reading his word. I, 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 I need that hunger that you become so restless you can't even sleep at night. When you turn on the TV, you get tired, you turn it off and you pick up the Bible and begin to read say, God, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Show me your face. Show me your face. Show me your face. I want you to get to that level. Why would you pick up the phone and when someone is talking? All you can say is, Jesus, I want you. Jesus, I want you. And then the conversation will turn into a Bible study. My time is up. But what I want to leave with you today is this. God says that there are dimensions in him. He wants to release. And he's looking for someone that will sacrifice themselves as a burnt offering on the altar of holiness, on the altar of prayer, on the altar of worship, on the altar of his word. And he will literally manifest himself through you. Now that does not mean that there will not be persecution and there will not be hardship. And they will not be suffering. But the glory that is to come exceeds the suffering of this present time. Will you be the one? For the rest of the day, this is the prayer I want you to pray for the rest of the week. Let everything fade away. Jesus, take your place. Amen. God bless you for watching. God willing, tomorrow we will be back and we will spend more time in prayer until heavens come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you that missed our stream on Friday or missed the church service on Friday, don't worry, there is still an opportunity for you to come experience God. But if you can request the link, I will send it to you and just soak in the presence of God and your life will not remain the same. God bless you. Hallelujah. Bye-bye.